setting up your follow-up messages, it's extremely important to make sure you test every message, every follow-up message um, intensively to make sure the conversation flows as a conversation. You need to start building relationships, make it more personal to the user, the, to the new follower, to help the endpoint of each and every one of our goals. When setting up the first follow-up message, your first follow-up message will be sent 24 hours after your new follower likes your content. It's really good in the first message to talk about their follower or following count. As you can see here in the preview, we talk about their content and having this many followers and with having those followers and the engagements really well. Saying this, we, we need people to just respond to the message so we can start using the chatbot features. Once somebody responds to the message, it's extremely important to test for seven to 10 days to work on which keywords come out of their response. So when setting up the rules and responses, rule response one, you can see we have strict limits here. So the different variations of all the words, some with apostrophes, some without, some with question marks, some without, and the different variations of all the words. Because it's strict limits, if one of these are hit from the responses, these are the keywords from the user, this message would go out. The end goal of the message is the same, it's just a matter of rewording the first sentence, first sentence or two um, to make it flow as a conversation. Same thing with um, other rules, strict limits, apostrophes, question marks, different variations, and putting in um, the one or two sentences at the beginning and then getting to the point of uh, the conversation. You can preview it here like it would preview in your direct messaging, which is really handy. Um, and then what we're also able to do is you can add as many rules as you want. So the more testing you do, the more keywords you're going to find, the more rules you'll be able to put in, the more the better the conversation is going to flow. If somebody hits, if somebody in a sentence a new user replies with rule number one and rule number two, it will always take the rule that's on top. The top one is has authority over the ones underneath. So it's just a matter of testing and setting them up in which ones you want to go out and which keywords come in more often. The same thing continues with your follow-up three and follow-up four, um, different rules. If you leave it blank like this, um, this message will go out no matter what the person says. So if you want to if you want to test it to see what type of responses you're getting in three, but you still want your message to go out, then this message would be sent with no rules hit. Um, this has the lowest authority over any of them. So if I had a rule here that had no no message here and had my message here, Kronos replies with this message, all these would take over. This has got the bottom authority over every single rule no matter where you set it up. We want to make sure that you're hitting as many rules as possible because that's when you're going to have the best conversion and the best conversation with, with your follower. Um, we have the four mess follow-up messages now and clickable links will are sent out and are clickable to all users in the back of Kronos, which makes it extremely powerful for um, the end goal, asking a user for a certain action. Say, if you would like more info, send me a thumbs up or send me info. And then you can set that as your rule, add it as a rule, set it as info. And if somebody sends info, then your link your link would, sorry, your link would then go out to your user um, by clicking save and then you can do different links for different parts of the rules. You can take your conversations different ways. If somebody responds with one way, well maybe they're interested in this, but if somebody's interested in this, then it can, the conversation can go differently. And at the bottom, you can have multiple rules and multiple links for um, different rules that are hit. We want to, as marketers, you want to try and find pain points in people's lives. You want to try and find problems in their lives and create solutions for them. So not everybody is going to want what 
you might necessarily be giving, but if you can provide proper value and proper training to these people in time, they could be a, a customer, uh, an engaged follower, somebody. It could be even a potential partner in your business. So just make sure with all these messages, you're testing thoroughly with different rules, different keywords, different structure, because once you get it set up in, in the beginning, bringing traffic to your page is just a matter of sticking with consistency and doing the proper research that way. And then you just let the chronos do the converting for you.